Alright, what's up guys? Ninja Death Strike here, bringing you some more Pokemon Showdown Battles. This is my first video since getting back to the States, so, uh, real quick mini channel update. Just, basically, I don't know how much time I'm gonna have. I'm still adjusting, I just got back last night, so... We'll see how much time I have to record and how much privacy I am back at home. So, not living by myself currently, which could could affect things, but we'll see how it goes. So anyhow, just please be patient. I'm not abandoning the channel, but it, it might be continue to be slow for a while because I've got other stuff to figure out. So mainly what I'm doing with my life. Anyhow, let's let's play some Pokemon, shall we? Uh, I'm going to be up here at the top. We are in UU for these battles using my standard UU team, which I have to say is one of my favorite teams that I've ever made. It just feels good. Like, you know how you make a team and you just know that you, you nailed it. Like, this is a solid team, and that's how I feel with this team. I, I really, really like it. So, anyhow, my opponent's going to be down here. Uh, pretty standard UU stuff going on. All of these guys are really UU powerhouses. Because he was packed with with power powerhouses, so let's just get into it. I don't have a lot to say about his team other than it's good. So he is going to lead with Crobat. Not a surprise there. I do lead with Buddy, and I'm assuming I'm going to predict a taunt here and go for an attack rather than Stealth Rocks. Yes, I do go for the Scald. Get the crit on Blastoise. Not going to be too important probably because he takes it so well and he does have the lefties. So. Yeah, I don't want to get burned here, and I'm going to switch into Watcher the Zatu. Why? I don't know. I guess I figure it's probably the best thing to take on a Blastoise. Uh, I can kind of see what he's going to want to do. And, yeah, I might have predicted a Roar there, too. I don't know. But anyhow, he shows me Ice Beam. It's going to do less than half, though, which means I can eventually win this Star War if I have to. Uh, barring freezes and crits and that sort of thing, but it looks like he's pretty intent on staying in, so I'm going to take the opportunity to switch out, go into Thunderhead the Raikou. I know that I can't Volt Switch just because he does have Rhyperior, so I opt to go for Extra Sensory, which does nothing against this Rhyperior. Uh, guessing it's... it has to be Special Defensive, because that's a Choice Specs Raikou, and I'm sorry that the screen's being so laggy. Uh, it's throwing me off a little bit, too, but... Yes. Anyhow, I switch into Hitmontop there to get the Intimidate after Extra Sentry does nothing. Predict Rhyperior to come back in, hit it with Hidden Power Ice this time, which does a lot more, but man, the Rhyperior is just not going down. Um, Choice Specs Raikou is really not doing much to it at all, so again, I'm going to predict a switch out here as I'll probably either want to go for a fighting move or a rapid spin so I'm gonna throw up a toxic instead end up being able to toxic the chandelure which is great uh, go into whisper to eat the incoming special attack just barely managed to uh, survive with enough health to take another one it takes 44 percent so I'm gonna throw up a protect here get whisper back up to full health as he's gonna be handy later especially for trying to check that crobat but uh, check that Chandelure, but then I get a uh, crit by Brave Bird and I die, and uh, that, that feels bad. <laughs> so, yep, um, gonna have to go into Raikou here. I can threaten out the Crobat, as it's not gonna have a whole lot to really hit me with. But the stupid Rhyperior has Protect as well, so I can't two shot it with extra sensory like I thought I'd be able to. Uh, Blastoise is going to come in and not going to be able to two-shot that, so I'm going to have to switch out again. Go into DJ Roomba, um, who is going to take this okay, but uh, yeah, I can't really do much. I do try and get off a rapid spin here and then get blocked by Chandelure, so things are really not looking good for me here. He, I guess, well, he probably didn't predict the Sucker Punch, but he thought that I would have to switch out, and he does show me that he's a sub Chandelure, so that's even worse for me, because I let him get up a sub. Um, thankfully, his Fire Blast misses here kind of gives me an opportunity to stay in the game, but I'm not going to be able to Rapid Spin, as I am going to die to Toxic Poison, so that means that the rocks are going to stay up on my side of the field, and I have not gotten to set my own rocks up yet, so... 
yeah, his Chandelure, uh, his Crobat and his Chandelure were just able to switch in for free as much as they wanted. I do predict him to go for an attack here, since apparently he's Choice Banded, it looks like. And that's going to at least let me get my rocks up, but it does cost me my Swamper, who uh, was a decent check to a few of his guys, including Raikou, assuming that it doesn't have Hidden Power Grass. So Raikou comes in here. I know that Candlejack can take one hit, and I'm going to stay in because I also know that I'm going to be able to do some damage as I can basically threaten to kill anything that he brings in. Uh, I'd be able to one or two hit whatever he had. So I do get a kill in there, and then I'm going to Death Fodder Watcher the Zatu as he goes into his Kingdra. Uh, unfortunately for me, not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do against Kingdra. I can get a good hit on it with the Choice Scarf Chandelure, but uh, at this point, yeah, I'm just, I'm just dead. I have to rely on Extra Sensory to finish it off, as I cannot obviously go for a Thunderbolt, it's not going to do anything. Hidden Power Ice is probably not going to do uh, enough to Raikou, and Freakin' Protect, again, is going to save him. So, yeah, not going to be able to win this one, unfortunately. It was a, it was a close match, I could have won. The crit on Whisper definitely hurt a lot, because he could have checked, uh, checked this Raikou very well. Maybe kept me in the game, but uh, it was probably my fault for leaving him in against Crobat anyhow. I'm sure that would have hurt no matter what. But uh, disappointing loss, 1-0. Uh, Sometimes it happens. What can you do? Moving on to the next match. Again, I'm going to be up here at the top. Uh, my opponent's down here. He has a very, very unorthodox team. We've got some guys that just aren't very good. Uh, and we also have Azumarill and Kofag Regis. So, yeah... A weird team. I didn't know what to make of it, really, but I wasn't too worried about it. It is going to turn out to be a rain team, which I guess I could have seen had I looked closer, but it's a very strange rain team. He's not using any of the most powerful rain guys. So he does set up a rain right off the bat here with his Fianni as I take a turn to set up my Stealth Rocks. Then he's going to go for Toxic. Toxic on Buddy is always annoying because I do like, I kind of rely on the Leftovers recovery. You have to. He does, Swampert doesn't have another way to recover health. So knowing that, I'm going to switch into Whisper here, A, because he can stall for days, and B, because he has Heal Bell. So I'm going to throw up a Wish first, and I believe this turn, yes, I will go for the Heal Bell. That'll heal the Toxic on Umbreon and heal the Toxic on Swampert. It's going to make Swampert a lot stronger because now he can, again, slowly recover that health with Leftovers. And now that he's not poisoned, I'm going to be able to switch him into this Azumarill. He should be able to handle it comfortably. As uh, Fianni, unsurprisingly, sets up another Earthquake. So, gets uh, Fianni sets up another Rain Dance. I'm sorry. Predicting the Toxic here, I actually switch into Watcher to try and bounce it back. But he changes things up, goes for the Scald. Not a bad move, obviously. You don't normally want to do the same thing twice in a row if you can, if you can help it. But uh, I am going to be able to switch into Whisper and, again, stall indefinitely. He gets a crit here. It's not going to be a really big deal as he's doing so little damage. Uh, Synchronize is going to trigger here Toxic the Theony. It's going to force it to set up another Rain Dance if it wants to cure itself. And that is going to give me a chance to Heal Bell as I also have a Wish Up. So this is just a giant, giant stall war. He is healing every turn because of his leftovers. I can't actually status him. And knowing that it's just going to be a big stall fest, I do switch into Thunderhead here to try and break the stall. Essentially, it's going to force him to do something. So he does get a burn on the Scald, which is annoying, but it's not too bad against Thunderhead because he doesn't care about burn, and he doesn't stay in for extended periods of time. He's very hit and run, so the burn's not going to have too much of a chance to add up. Uh, finally, get to get a kill here as I take out his Kofagrigus with a Shadow Ball from Candlejack. Azumarill comes in as the rain ends. I can intimidate it, force it out. Fianni is going to try and Toxic DJ Roomba. Or no, I'm going to try and Toxic Fianni with DJ Roomba and miss. Not a huge deal, since again, the rain would have would have null nullified the Toxic. And, yeah. Now that this Fianni's in, I'm just going to switch back into Whisper. Uh, I don't care. I don't care if I have to stall, I this thing is super annoying, and I just want 
to force it out eventually, which is exactly what I can do thanks to Whisper. So he burns me again, two for two with the Skull Burns, and yeah, I'm going to have to protect here with Azumarill. Any move that he goes for is going to hurt a lot. He does show me the superpower, which leads me to believe he's locked into it. Azumarill almost always choiced. I could have gone into Candlejack, but just on the off chance he wasn't, I switch into Watcher instead. I want Candlejack a little bit more. Uh, he's going to be more valuable, I think, against his team than Watcher. So, turns out he has choice. It allows me to roost and then U-turn out on his Fianny as he, as he sets up the Rain Dance. And finally, I get some switch momentum against that thing. I'm able to take it out with a Volt Switch. Don't have to deal with it anymore, and that feels good. Uh, Buddy comes in as he sends in Excelgore, uh, just kind of telegraphing the Giga Drain. I know that Excelgore can get Giga Drain, so I'm going to switch right out of that, go back into Watcher, take not a lot of damage, and then Thunder Wave, you know, if he left the Excelgore in, Thunder Wave is great. If he switches, Thunder Wave is still great. Uh, Thunder Waving Azumarill is not the best. That's probably the least... Uh, least threatening thing to Thunder Wave since it's already pretty slow, but I'll take it. Uh, I do get a pair of hacks there, and that's going to save Buddy some health, so that's nice. Excelgore comes back in. Now I'm going to go to Candle Jack in case he's going to switch things up, which he does. Uh, goes for the Bug Buzz, which I very nicely quad resist. Unfortunately, he does get a special defense drop. Uh, so a really hacksy match, but in a very unaffected way like we're both getting hacks but a lot of it's well he's getting maybe a little more than me I think I've gotten some as well though but not a lot of it is affecting anything they're very minimal hacks which I guess if you're gonna get hacks is the way to do it so uh, I do switch in buddy to Manetric here as he's gonna I guess decide he wants to try and save Manetric go into that ice bear bear tick bear tick and get wrecked by earthquake and that's going to be a 6-0, so pretty good match, I guess. Uh, even though it was a 6-0, there was a lot of back and forth. I made some pretty good predictions. But that's going to do it for this uh, video. Hopefully you enjoyed the matches. Please give me a thumbs up. If you did, feel free to leave a comment. And like I said at the beginning, just hang tight as I figure out stuff. Uh, as I might not be uploading as often. We'll have to see. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. More coming your way maybe shortly? Uh, later.